Hey guys, hey guys, welcome back, welcome back. And today, it was a good day up until a little while ago when I was informed that my daughter's school will be having a second heart lockdown drill tomorrow. And she is stressed, <laughs> to say the least. Um, and... and <laughs> She has been begging me to call the principal and ask him to cancel the lockdown. And part of me is like, I wish I could, you know. But unfortunately, the state of affairs or where things are right now um, in this country is that our, our children need to learn how to deal with these threats. Um, that are being perpetrated against them. And I wish I didn't have to say it. And I wish she didn't have to go through a hard lockdown drill. And I wish I could take her anxiety away. And she doesn't want to go to school. She is begging to either have it canceled or for her to be able to stay home. And even though I allow her mental health days, I feel like what she will be learning during this process she needs to have the information. And that is, it's like, what can she really learn when she's stressed to the point where she is crying and begging and just, you know, can't focus on anything else? I don't know. But at the same time, I do not want to take that opportunity away from her to learn how to handle a situation. I don't care what your political background is, what your political affiliation is, the fact of the matter is our children should not have to be dealing with this and we are not protecting our children properly. I don't want to hear no anything. Well, if you aren't a teacher, I Let's just say the professionals don't always get it right. And so you want to hand a gun to someone who is not physically or mentally prepared to handle that type of situation? No. So I don't even know what this video is. You know, it's just one of those things, guys. Like this is this is life. This is not just life as a parent of a child, it's like, how do I explain this to my child where she really gets it, where I can help to calm her anxiety and calm her nerves. And, you know, but she still has to go through it. I'm still making her go through um, this. Do I think it's worth it in the long run, to be honest, guys? I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> I'm at like a 60-40 split, 60% saying yes, 40% saying no, it's not worth it in the long run. Um, uh, school crises can happen anywhere. And our school and school system is not exempt, no matter how wonderful it is. We have had situations in the last calendar year where you know, teacher and students have been um, assaulted like at the high school and middle school level, but nothing really at the elementary school level. And so while I am partially grateful for that, I know my baby ain't safe. I know my baby in her school is not exempt from the horrors of mass shootings, or mass stabbings, or suicides, or you know, sexual harassment, all this other maddening things that's going on in the world that has now infiltrated our schools. And so, you know, I'm not, I'm not certain, but I am gonna make her go and we're going to have to deal with the emotional consequences later. Because as much as the hard lockdown and the soft lockdown drills 
stress her out. The fire drill stress her out as well. Like she does not want to be anywhere where the noise is just flares up her anxiety. And I offered, you know, do you want to do noise canceling headphones? Do you want to do headphones? Like I don't know what else other than that. She used to wear compression vests like first and second grade. We don't do those anymore. Um, she doesn't want to be dependent on the headset. She just doesn't want the anxiety of the blaring alarms. I don't even under I don't even think she understands the severity of the issues in school these days where that makes these drills necessary. So in any event, guys, that's where we're at. We'll see you in the next video. Bye. Only in this day and age, it's something that you're going to have to do, baby. Now, if you want to take some headphones to help cover your ears, you can do that, okay? But you're going to have to go to school tomorrow. No! I can't! You can do it. No, I can't! I have to stay home. I know it's going to be scary. I know it's going to be scary, but you can do it. I cannot do it. Did we get through the first one? The world of 2018. Yeah. You got through it. You survived. Was it the same alarm? It might, yeah.